The future of recycling plastics could look completely different thanks to a new discovery at UC Berkeley. We hope that this method can kind of provide a better alternative to traditional mechanical recycling where instead of a lower value product out of the recycling process, you can get the exact same plastic by just uh, recreating it from scratch. That's RJ Conk, a chemistry PhD candidate at Berkeley. Conk built off years of prior research by Cal students and found a new way to take apart some of the most difficult plastics to deconstruct. We're talking about plastic water bottles, soap bottles, shopping bags and more, according to advisor John Hartwig. Sandwich bags, um, but also large objects and uh, construction materials, as well as yeah, the milk jug, the yogurt containers. Here's how it works. Chemists combine waste plastics with two catalysts, sodium and tungsten, then seal it inside a high pressure reactor, add ethylene, heat it up and stir for about an hour and a half. Open up the reactor and this is the result. No more plastic, just raw materials that can now be recycled. I began to start to lose hope. Um, but one day he came to me and actually said, I have the best results I think I'm ever going to show you. And at the end of the meeting, I said, yes, that's true. On Thursday, this research was formally published in the journal Science. It is one of the you know, most prestigious, uh, highest impact publication forums that we have in, in sciences. Big picture, they hope this process eventually will lead to less plastic in landfills. I think the goal is to provide an economic incentive to collect plastic waste, or at least a disincentive to throw it out of the environment. Um, if you can make it cheaper to recycle plastic, then less ends up out in the environment. A feat conquered after years of trial and error with a little catalyst of luck. In Berkeley, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.